Hi, I'm Robert with the Gateway Gardener Magazine. Here in St. Louis, we're in the middle of a long hot spell with temperatures in the upper 90s and even mid 100s for several weeks now. And a lot of times when that happens, you'll notice a reduction of, of production in your vegetable garden. Uh, I've heard a couple explanations for that. One is that just like you and me, the bees are just less active at that time. They don't get out that much. Um, uh, the other explanation is that the, uh, the pollen just gets tackier and doesn't give itself up as much. But whatever the reason, if you're noticing you're not getting as many vegetables in, in the heat, then uh, you just need to be the bee. And I'll show you how. Plants in the cucurbit family, like uh, cucumbers and squash and this zucchini here, have separate male and female flowers. So the first thing you need to do is be able to uh, identify the, the difference between the male and females. Uh, this is a male flower here. You can see it's got a long skinny stalk. So what you want to do, I'm going to tear the petals away here a little bit so you can see it's got a bunch of uh, squash beetles in here. So you just want to take a Q-tip and just dabble it around. You can see all this uh, pollen that I'm getting off this male flower here. And then we'll just uh, go over to the female flower and transfer this pollen to the female flower. Here's a female flower. You can see it's got a swollen stem to it that actually looks a little bit like a, a baby zucchini or if you're working with squash or, or cucumber it would look like a smaller version of those, those vegetables. So you just uh, find your female flower and once again I'm going to tear the petal apart a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. It's got ants all over it trying to pollinate themselves. But you just take your q-tip with the pollen on it and rub it around on the female flower. The ants don't like it. And hopefully in a week or two, if this takes, we'll have a zucchini. Most plants in your vegetable garden are, have complete flowers, and that means that both the male and the female parts are within the same flower, so you don't have to worry about um, seeing which flower is male or female. On this green pepper, just take your Q-tip and you go into the flower and just buzz around in there like you're a bee and dabble around and that'll get the pollen onto your Q-tip. And then you go to another flower. I don't see any more open on this plant so I'm going to go over to another one and we'll transfer it over to that one. Okay, I found some more open flowers over here, so I'm just going to take my Q-tip and dabble it around in there. And there are actually several on this plant, so I'll dabble around over here. And just buzz around from flower to flower. And in a few weeks, we'll have a more, some more uh, green peppers, just like that one right there. Uh, the male parts of a tomato flower are actually kind of shy. They're inside the flower and what gets them to give up their pollen is uh, typically the buzzing action from a bumblebee or a honeybee. So in the absence of, of those critters in the garden, a good substitute is uh, just an electric toothbrush. Just turn it on and vibrate around and what that causes the pollen to shoot out of there and you'd actually see it if we had a good close up and uh, the pollen shoots out of there and sticks onto the stigma of that flower and any surrounding flowers. And you just move around the plant and like a bumblebee would do and that's all there is to it. There are just a few ways you can hand pollinate some of the uh, vegetable plants in your garden if you're having trouble getting production. I uh, hope the information has been helpful. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, if you'd like to uh, get access to more garden tips, check out our website at gatewaygardener.com, and look for our magazine, The Gateway Gardener. Thank you.